support. Um, so OptiV is not a weight loss company. It's a it's a it's a it's a lifestyle program, a lifestyle company. I actually say it's a it's I've it's a, a personal development company disguised as a health and wellness company, and weight loss is just one of the tools that we help people with. Did you guys know that? Weight loss is really just one of the tools. So the reason why I told you guys that I didn't come into this for weight loss is because here in Optavia, we have a trilogy, a trilogy of optimal health. You guys, have you guys heard of that word before, optimal health? Optimal health, what does that mean? Throw it in the chat. What, what, is that, what does that mean when you hear that word, optimal health? Throw in the chat if we have anyone that anyone brave want to take a stab at what that means. When you hear the word optimal health, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Okay, here we go. They're starting to roll in. Donna said the best, the best health you can get at. The best health you can get. Yeah, I love it. Donna and uh, Ricky's been reading their, their life book. Um, that's exactly what it is. So when we talk about op it, the optimal health, it's your best health possible. So here in Optavia, we don't just focus on being healthy physically and getting to a healthy weight and healthy BMI. We also focus on that trilogy of health, which is healthy body, healthy mind, and also healthy finances. And when we talk about health, we, we're speaking of having abundance uh, or balance and abundance in all three of those areas. So that's truly what Optivia is, is we have a trilogy of optimal health, healthy body, mind, and finances. So this program has changed my life in all three of those areas, um, physically, mentally, and also financially. If you want to know how can you get healthy mentally, um, well, we're going to discuss that and talk about that today. This is probably the best tool. I think one of the best, the best personal development book, well, uh, besides the Bible, in my opinion, one of the best personal development books ever where we can get healthy mentally. And then financially, um, when I decided to pay it forward and become a coach, Optavia has completely transformed my life um, uh, financially. And so I just wanted to kind of share that before we dug into our life book, because I think that's very, very important on to really, really understand what we have and really what's possible. So Today, we're, we're di we are diving back into our life book, and we are going to have an amazing coach um, who's supporting lots of clients. She's an amazing woman, amazing person, um, an amazing coach. Her clients love her. Um, her she, she, not only is she supporting clients, she has coaches that she's helping and growing. So she's also on, on track to getting healthy in all three of those areas, physically, mentally, and financially. So we're going to invite invite on Sylvia, um, who's going to be taking us into the into our life book, and we're going to be going into element twenty two. Element twenty two in your life book. So if you guys can go grab that, go grab your life book. If you're if you're a brand new client and you just ordered, you haven't got your life book yet. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just listen and follow along. But what's going to happen tonight is Sylvia is going to give you guys a few points that she got out of this and how, how she's using this element, element 22, to take her health and well-being to the next level. And then what, what she's going to do is we're going to, she's going to allow it, she's going to open it up to everybody because we want to hear from you. We want to hear how has this element 22, how has it impacted your life and what have you gotten out of it? So if you guys can be ready and be prepared for that, um, we'll take the last like 10 minutes to, um, to open it up so that we can hear from you guys. Cool. And then if anybody wants to share any, any, um, any victories, any wins, anything like that, we would love to hear from you as well. But today we're really going to focus on element 22 in our life book. Cool. So this time I'm going to step out the way and I'm going to invite on the amazing Sylvia Wynn to, uh, to lead us in this element. Sylvia, are you there? I am here, James. Good evening. And thank you, those were such kind, kind words. Good evening, everyone. This has got to be one of the, if not the most beautiful group I have seen. You are definitely the most beautiful group I've seen today, that is for sure. Everybody doing okay? Yeah, you all look like you're doing fantastic. Thank you for popping on today. 
the hey carol <laughs> uh, this is interesting this week because frequently we talk about mm, fuelings we talk about hydration we talk about supplements and how things that we take in internally fit with us but what is different today is that today we're going to go inside and we're going to take a minute to see how we can grow in just a little time. Let's do a little growing together. You know, it's kind of hard to work on personal well being when we look at television or the internet and they're always telling us that we're supposed to be someplace or do something or look a certain way. Don't you ever feel that pressure sometimes when there's beautiful people in amazing seven layer cars going down the street and telling you what you're supposed to be looking like and you begin to look and think less of yourself because of what someone else is telling you in your ear. So today, let's take a minute and figure out how wonderful are you already? And can we improve that just a little bit, maybe 1% every day? That's what this element is about. Element 22 about creating optimal well-being. And that's kind of addressed in the brown page. If you're looking at, like James directed us to have our life book out, these big old books that came in our box, this is really what makes us make changes. I, I don't know how many of us are friends on Facebook, but the changes that have been going on personally in my life is that I've lost 50 pounds and I'm really happy about that. But you know what happened because of that? It's not just because, you know, I'm doing things special. But what happened was that the changes that I went through in this book, this is really what's helping me to make the changes in my life. So that's why we dig in. We're able to get in and dig in. So if we start here and just looking at all the things that we're having to deal with and what people tell us, what are the changes that can counteract that? Well, if we look on page uh, number 445, Dr. A had interesting perspective. He did an end of life study with folks. That is literally what it means that he did a study with people who were at the end of their life. And you know what she did, what they did? He asked what it is that they wanted and they never said, I wish I could have had a bigger house or a larger car. Maybe they wanted time. They wanted to spend more time with their families, but never the material things. So if we take a minute and look at on page 442 is the subheading of fulfillment of success. Are you happy? Are you doing what you really want? Are you financially successful? Can you do the things you want and have the things you want? So can we take a minute and dream and figure out, can you do that? Because this is not what someone else is telling you because we live in a world where we need to have finances in order to be able to function. So in order to figure out how to do that, we need to have a house and, and we, you know, we, most of us are in cities where we need to have vehicles. So yeah, we need to do that. But what I found to be very helpful was here, not just in how we define success, but also how we define fulfillment. So there's a chart on page 443. It's called failure, success continuum and the depression fulfillment continuum. But we're not gonna do it together now, but I highly recommend that you take the time to go through it and say, okay, if this is what I define success as, what level of achievement am I now? And then look at yourself honestly from failure to success and pinpoint one of those dots in there from the one to 10 scale and say where you think you are. Be honest. You know, that's the good thing about the life book is that it's yours. So you're not sharing with, with anyone unless you choose to. And then go to the bottom where it says depression fulfillment continuum. Remember, we said we're going to do some growing today. So let's be honest. We can be transparent. Where are we on the scale of one to 10? And it starts with depression. So put a mark where you feel you are right now. If you feel that you're very depressed and you're having, you're, you're in a sad place, then 
yeah, mark that down there by depression. And if you feel like you're very, very happy, then mark that up there by very happy. That's okay. Or by fulfillment. But the key is this. Then on page 444, take these two parameters together and you take your position on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. So you're gonna take those and you, <laughs> that's funny, left-handed people. And you're gonna cross them together like this. And that's going to give you your results. So it's gonna look like this on the well-being chart on page 444. So you'll have contented and fulfillment, thriving, worn out, burned out. And, and compare your success to where you are now. And be honest. And if it's not, if you're not where you want to be, like when I did it, yeah, I, I was like, wow, I was kind of surprised. I marked one down and marked the other, put them together and was like, okay, well, this is very interesting. I'm not exactly where I thought I was, you would think, but nope, I'm not. Work in progress, still doing a lot of grueling. And that's what's good about being here is that we don't just get presented with the facts, which is good. We also get the solutions. And we, if, if you look in the beginning of this, it says that it takes us um, from one to two weeks to complete. That doesn't mean that in two weeks that you're gonna be great and you're gonna be completely fulfilled. Your bank account's gonna be full and you're gonna be happy, no. But what it does mean is that you're going to have the tools to be able to begin to make changes in your life. If you do that bit by bit every day, then that's how you wind up with fulfillment. That's how we end up being fulfilled. And I was a, I was a little like, this just seems really, really simple. But um, it is in reading. But you know, anything that's worth having is worth working for. So how about this? So far, wherever you are in your life book, even if you're at the stone cold very beginning, that's a great place to be. So what you can do is write your story. You know, when you got this book and you looked at it and thought, I don't know if I really need this. Some of us might've thought, I got a Bible. That's my life book. I'm following that. You might have put this one over to the side. I'm quoting me because that's how I felt in the beginning. No one's trying to replace the Bible. But how about looking at some of the principles that are lined up, the elements, and practice that in our lives? And then we can become better people. So start that off. Write your story in the beginning. And then... Once you write your story, um, it says, uh, we don't want to stay stuck and say that everything is fine, which is the biggest lie that people hide behind in their lives. We're being transparent today, right? Let's just be honest. So open ourselves up to change and adding some elements that will help us to be fulfilled. What could some of those be? Well, if we look on page 449, there are some ideas. It says that we can take up a new hobby, find a craft uh, or something that you would like to do and then do it, then do it. Uh, enjoy the arts. Perhaps things are opening up in your area before, maybe we couldn't do that, but if it's possible for you to be able to take in a concert or a show, or what was it that you enjoyed doing before, um, then perhaps find a way to enjoy that again. Uh, we live in a city that's full of it. I, I'm in Los Angeles. So this is a city that's full of all sorts of things to do. So it's, it's nice to be able to find something nice and enjoyable. Reconnecting with nature by breathing fresh air on your daily walks while strolling on the beach or in the woods, or just by spending time in your backyard can do wonders for your stress level. Can anybody relate to that? Put a one in the chat if that's something that you enjoy doing. If you enjoy walking or going out, enjoying the evening and the, the breezes and things, yeah, it's good. It's a fun thing to do. I enjoy that. My sister and I go on walks in the evening sometime and, and, and the time goes by so much, so much faster. 
This is listed number four, but most of us here know that this is our number one, to be in touch with our spiritual side, because the Bible tells us that happy are those conscious of their spiritual needs. So we want to do that because that's made into us, that we have to do something that is fulfilling in our relationship with God. And the last one says to spend time with others. Yeah. We, does that make sense? Where are we now? But with our community, right? This is what we do. We enjoy each other. And increasing our well-being with these very simple things, like maybe starting a scrapbook, helping um, others in our life. And since most of us have to work, do what we love to do or what you enjoy doing. It really is that simple. So that's all I got for now. That's just from me. But now we would love to hear from you. What's your take on this element? And if you guys want to just, just raise your hand, um, just click on the little hand raise icon and then uh, Sylvia will, will call on you. Okay, Thomas, Thomas Smith, please. Actually, it's Gwen Smith and Tyler. Hi, Gwen. Hi. 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 Well, about an hour and a half ago, I got my box. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm anxious and excited at the same time. <laughs> and um, yeah, I like the, the simpler things like uh, a stroll in the park, mm -hmm. um, planting the garden in the backyard. And I, I saw one that I got to get back to was I used to line dance. So I want to do that again. Um, I do a little at home, but, you know, <laughs> really get to it again. But I'm, I'm, I'm figuring the book out. I'm writing down things and my coach is right there when I need him. So uh, <laughs> we're so glad you're here, Gwen. Thank you so much. My son's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, good. Excellent. Outstanding. Oh, thank you. Your comments were beautiful. Let's see. Anybody else? Carol, please. Hi, Carol. Hi, Oprah. Thanks for calling on me. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she sound like Oprah, y'all? When she talks, I just, I get all mesmerized. Mm -hmm. but anyway, this, this element is, it, I find to be very interesting because, um, it speaks to me in many ways. Um, sometimes like, like you read the part where you feel stuck, you get in this rut of life and you feel like this is my life. You just kind of mully on. The very first um, part talks about a person who's so busy in their life, they're not even breathing. They wake up in the morning, they have a cup of coffee, they run to the car, they get to work, they do the turn on their computer and yada, yada, yada. And they finally crash in bed only to wake up again and do it all over again. And they're stuck and they feel like this is it this is life and that's just the way it's going to be but this element helps you to see to take the time to really evaluate where you are in life find out if that's where you want to be and if it's not where you want to be then let's make some changes like you mentioned there was a bunch of options there was also on page 448 i appreciated the part about follow your passions and in that one it was a beautiful little part about rekindling your relationships. And we know this on a spiritual level too, that you 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 make you let things go. You don't you don't fester over craziness. You know, if there's a problem with you and another person, you let it go. But I love that this part of the book too, because it's so relevant to what I already know spiritually. But it says um it talks about making a truce. You know, if you if you have a struggle with a relationship, then make a truce, fix it. And then it talks about being courageous enough to do that, because sometimes that's really hard. Um, also, it mentions to let others know that you love them. You know, sometimes we figure people know that already. You know, they might not know. You might think they know, but they don't really know. So make sure they know that. Um, so there's just so many little parts in here I really like. I'm just going to leave it there. Somebody probably else has something else to say. Oh, I'm so glad you brought those out, Carol. Thank you so much. 
You know I love you. Ricky, Ricky, please. Oh my goodness. Hi, everybody. Well, I, I really enjoyed this this one too. It spoke to me in a lot of ways uh, with a lot of things that I um, kind of struggle with, you know, in my life and, and finding happiness is, you know, whether to do what they, people think that you should do and what people put in your mind that they feel like you should do. And so I really like this part on page uh, 440 where it says, aligning your mind with your heart's desire is a powerful force that can do much to support a lifetime of health. So we, we just align our mind with what you really want, then uh, you can stay away from a lot of the struggles and trying to feel like you have to fit somebody else's mold. Excellent. Those are, oh man, those are outstanding points, Ricky. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jamie, please. Oh, hello. Okay. I actually, hi, hi. I really enjoyed the thought about success. Mm -hmm. And I know I had just had, you know, some conversations uh, with Carol and James about success and where you rate yourself. And, you know, reading over this, this chapter, a lot of us, you know, might value certain things as successful. For instance, I was thinking, I'm pretty successful at work. You know, I'm, I have gone pretty high up and I, I'm happy with that. So I thought, but then I started reading this and yeah, I'm one of those who I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And then I'm coming home and having to just de-stress, which Carol, I love you. Thank you for our walks. That has helped me tremendously. Walking just helps, you know, ease your mind and, and relaxing and that kind of allows you to take a step back and realize, do I really need to be running this rat race? Do I need to be running and, and doing all this to be successful? And so when you look over at page 445 and put yourself in the, in the quadrant of the, the well-being chart, you know, really, yeah, you might be successful, but are you worn out or, you know, are you actually thriving? So I think a lot of times we think that we're successful, but we're really wearing ourselves out to try to attain that success. And uh, we need to take a step back and, and focus more on our spiritual, mental, and our family. Excellent. Those are outstanding points, Jamie. Thank you so much for bringing those out. You really are. Did I say, don't I sell Stanley? No? Yeah, I did. I did have my, my hand raised up and I was kind of thinking on the same line as Jamie, but I also uh, the, just that quote, the, the section there, finding what really matters. I, I was just reflecting on my life and I was like, you know, I reached out for things. I've set goals in life, but why did I want to attain those goals? What was what was it? I was what was I really trying to achieve? Um, and, and some of it is kind of pointless, you know, and then the connection about, you know, you try to m reach these short term goals, but you, uh, you, you're not thinking about the long term, you know, how those things will affect you. What are you sacrificing to reach these short term things that may just fade away as opposed to, you know, trying to, it's kind of like investing, you know, you invest money for the, for the long run, you know, you don't invest for the short, you can do short, you know, that's fine. But what about in the future? The, the, the money, the time you're putting into it. So even like this in my life, you know, the things that I'm endeavoring, I had a conversation with my manager yesterday and, and, and he asked me what, you know, do I find myself in a routine? And I, I've never been one to really care for routines. And, and, and you know, my, I, I used to like my job, but it's just not my passion. My heart's not into it. And, and, and so even the next section uh, on, uh, on 448, follow your passion. I think that's what Optavia is showing me right now. I follow my passion. It's, it's challenging, you know, because you're dealing with different people on a more personal level. And I like that. Uh, my job is the routine is not fun. I can just go in and click this, click this, click this, click this. So my manager was like, you know, I think it's time for you to find something new. Now, that sounds like he was like, yeah, you get fired. But it wasn't that kind of conversation. <laughs> He was, he's encouraging, like, you know what, man, because he, he acknowledges my talent and my skills, but it's not being utilized to the full. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to do that as I grow in my, my coaching journey here and uh, 
you know, I share with everybody. My goal is to fire my boss. That's that's my goal. So my passion, this 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 is what that's bringing out in me right now. Wow, that's excellent. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that, Stan. Um, Charles, please. I think that's being, yeah. Okay. Hey, Charles. Oh, my goodness. This is my goal. <laughs> um, I've been out of the game for a little while. Um, and, um, yeah. This, this is kind of, I kind of can resonate a little bit because uh, James actually told me something similar. <laughs> uh, and actually my best friend told me something similar um, as to what this man was. Uh, just keeping, a, this was this was literally not a promo just to show off my baby, kind of. But um, thank you. Um, yeah, man. So uh, as a result, um, you know, me and my wife, you know, we just finally had sat down um, and we just kind of put some goals in order that we constantly looking just to keep refining and and just kind of just going for it. Um, yeah, th thanks for the congrats. I'm still horrified a month later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, that this is this is just like I I want to you know I just like I said, man. <laughs> just break away from um you know this status quo and you know i like i i, I don't want to be this this tired dad just bruh and she's just playing with this nappy head of mine it's not as nappy as it looked by the way i, I just need to brush it <laughs> but uh but yeah but that's just my little point <laughs> Congratulations, Charles. She's beautiful. Am I speaking out of turn? Is it a baby girl? Yeah, she's a baby girl. Um, mm -hmm. Her name is Azalea. Uh, fun fact for anybody who wants to do any personal study, her name is mentioned twice in the scriptures, in the Hebrew scriptures. <laughs> if you want to look up what that means, y'all can go do that later. <laughs> Your why is now uh, 10, 100,000 million miles deep right oh, we're so happy for you congratulations tell your wife the same as well darlene can we call you get you off the of music hi there uh oh let's see can we unmute you there yeah we go. am i good okay okay uh i I just want to say this. I've been with the program for like going on six months now. And uh, my weight loss has been quite amazing. Uh, but I'll be honest, I picked up the book, the life book, maybe once or twice because I was on the same mentality as you, Sylvia. I got the Bible. I mean, I've been with Jehovah forever and I was not planning to go anywhere. And his wisdom was, is so supreme. What can this man tell me, you know? So I didn't want to divert, you know? Uh, but today's meeting, and I thank Carol for her in, invitation to come, uh, has been quite uh, sobering. Um, because we are all created in Jehovah's image, so we have his attributes. And it, who's to say that Dr. A has not utilized some of Jehovah's attributes that he had, was created with and been able to come with this perception of matter so that we can get back in touch with who we are internally and uh, support that with good health um, uh, and all the other attributes that are necessary to fine tune yourself. Jehovah, of course, is everything, but uh, this has uh, showed me that I need to get back in my book and start doing the exercises. And I'm tiddling tattling on the idea of becoming a coach. Uh, so 
I thank you all for your earnestness and your honesty and your realness, because that's what sold me. And I thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much for your words. Final thought. On page 451, we have action steps that we could take. Take a moment and go through this after you go through your um, this element. And then if you're inclined to discuss it with your coach, because they'll be able to help you even further. All righty. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. You guys, wasn't that incredible didn't I didn't I tell you guys this is a lot bigger than just weight loss <laughs> right did anybody did anybody catch that so much more than just weight loss you guys can we please before everybody jump off we're going to transition into our coach call before we all before you guys jump off if you can please throw some love in the chat for uh for Sylvia um and thank her for leading us this tonight and um um, and sharing all those points. And Carol, I agree with you. When, when Sylvia talks, um, I just, I, it feels like Oprah. Like I, I'm just drawn in and I wanna, I wanna listen. I wanna listen. Uh, Sylvia, you just made this my favorite element. So, so I wanna thank you for, uh, for leading us tonight. And actually Sylvia said one final thought. I'm gonna give you guys one last final thought for those who are still on. Dr. A gives us an invitation in this element. I don't know if you guys caught it. It wasn't at the very end. But he gave us an element when he says, um, organize your life around what matters most to you. And again, I told you guys my story and I came into this because that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to organize my life around what's most important to me, my time and everything else. And so the invitation, Dr. A says, is he says, whatever you do, it should bring, and Sylvia talked about this, but whatever you do, it should bring you passion, spur your interest, Tap into your talents, get out and live to the fullest every day, and your body will respond with glee. You might, here's the invitation, you might want to explore joining us to help others obtain optimal health and well-being. Not weight loss, but to help others um, attain optimal health and well-being. And that's why we are here. If you ask any of your coaches why they want to become a coach, it's probably because that's one of the things that they wanted to do. So Thought I wanted to share that real quick because that, that's a great invitation. We're always, when we think about the mission of Optavia to, to get our, our family, our communities and the world healthy, we need help. We need more people. So we invite you to come on this journey with us. Talk to your coach more about what the coaching opportunity would look like for you and, um, and how you can benefit. But we would love to have you. So very nice. All right, friends. So we will at this time transition into our coaching call. Our clients, thank you guys so much for, for, for joining us tonight. You are more than welcome to stay if you want to. Um, so the first half, we we're, we're, we um, get together with all of our clients. We have our client community call. And in the second half hour, we're going to um, meet with all of our coaches. And really the whole point of that is as coaches, we, we like to come together to figure out and to learn from each other and to grow on how we can become better people um, better coaches, better, better, um, just better leaders and how we can help serve you and our clients even more. So if you are interested in coaching or you ever thought about it and your coach has offered it to you, you can stay on. And if you're, you're more than welcome to stay on and listen as we go through our coaching community, our coach team huddle. Cool. All right, friends. Well, um, welcome to our, our Tuesday night coach team huddle. This is amazing. I think this is the most we've ever had on um, that stayed on. I love it. I actually really, really do love it. So what I think we would be really, really cool to discuss and talk about today is we have a few madness groups going on. Um, a few. There's two of them. There's the April Madness group that's going on for all those that are pushing towards executive director this month. You're in that. Um, and I'm so, so glad that last or uh, Jamil decided to run that back um, in April and he explained why but March a lot a lot of coaches reached their goal and reach executive director but there was a lot of coaches that were like really 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 close 
And uh, we have quite a few of them here. Um, quite a few of them here. Sylvia's one, Donna's one. Um, Nellie's probably going to be there um, um, this month or next month. Lanita's probably going to get there this month, next month. Um, Alfred, Stan, we have, there's a lot, Barbara, there's a lot of us here that are on, that were on track or that grew their business last month. And so running this back in April, I feel really, really good that the end of this month, we're going to be celebrating a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys. And I told, I told Jamil, you guys know every win, well, we do, our, we kind of do our own celebration call, but you guys know the first Wednesday of the month, Jamil does the whole Frazier team celebration call, um, which is about 4,000 coaches in, in the whole, his whole organization. I told him, I said, hey, Jamil, um, I'm just letting you know now, um, we're going to have about four or five coaches that's going to rank up to executive director. So uh, you better um, make some space because I want some of our coaches to be sharing on that rank up call next month. Um, so super, super excited about that. Really, really cool. So I thought it'd be cool is um, first, before we get into, I, I want to talk about some takeaways um, because we're halfway through the month. We're almost halfway through the month. So I want to hear from you guys, for those that in the April ED boot camp, and then there's three of us that's in the, um, the FIBIC boot camp. So once you reach executive director, your next rank, your next milestone, your next goal is FIBC, which is fully integrated business coach. And so we have, um, it's really a higher level madness series that we're, what we're doing. I was talking to Carol today and Carol, Carol was on the ED one last month and she ranked up. So now she's on the FIBIC one this month, pushing towards um, to be a fully integrated business coach. And I was talking to her today as we were reviewing her map. And she told me, she said, this is different. It's, it's different. And it is. It really, really is. So, um, Carol, if, if you can, maybe you can just jump on and share some takeaways. Not right now, but when you, when you can, some takeaways on, on this and, and how you feel it's different. Um, so before we do that, I do want to check and make sure we um, welcome and introduce any new coaches to the family, which I know we have quite a few. Mm -hmm. So this is your time to shine. Uh, let's see, I'm do a quick scan and I see one. Yep, Jamie, I'm talking about you. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, and Jamie's actually prepared for this because we just did this, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, but Jamie, well, first of all, welcome to the team. Welcome to our family. You guys, Jamie's a brand new coach. Jamie, if you can just come off mute and just let everybody know who you are and then uh, and tell them your story. I have not practiced my story enough. <laughs> I know you told me I need to, but um, I, I will start with the, like the example you gave me before I started this program. Uh, I had just had a baby. And I was overweight and tired. I was exhausted. He's running me ragged. Um, I didn't like the way I looked after the pregnancy. I didn't feel good. I was just not able to keep up with him. I was exhausted. I ended up getting anxiety and ended up having to go on some meds. And, uh, you know, that led to a little bit of depression. And I just, I wanted to be able to feel good again. I also wasn't getting into pictures with the baby uh, or my other son because I didn't like the way I looked and I didn't want to mess it up with myself in it. So I would just take a picture of the cute kid, not me. And I was having a lot of pain in my back and my legs, um, specifically my foot. I was having trouble walking and no doubt it was to the uh, increased weight. So I started the program up and after I started, uh, I actually lost 20 pounds in a month, which was super exciting. And that just jump started me. And I have now been on the program for four months and I've lost 45 pounds and I uh, still have a long way to go, but I'm very excited about that. And I do have a goal next month. My older son graduates high school and I 
I want to be able to enjoy the pictures. Uh, I look back at his baptism pictures and I hate it. I just hate the way I look. And I'm not proud of putting that up on the wall. And I can only find pictures of just him for that. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't want to miss out on moments. So this was something that I, I became more energetic when I lost the weight. I started to take more pictures and I'm not in pain anymore and I can walk and we, we do our walks every Friday. So you guys come and join us. We, we do our walks every Friday around four and it's, it's been very enjoyable. And so, you know, talking with Carol, she, she's just, she's loving what she does and she's enjoying seeing people change. And I, I wanted a piece of that. Oh, I was being selfish. So I wanted to not only help her with her, with her goals, but I wanted to enjoy myself that way and help others to get to be where they want to be. So that's my story. Amazing. Jamie, that was 10 times better than we practiced it. That that's no. the one right there. <laughs> I used the sample conversation and went from there. <laughs> that Jamie, that is the one. Carol, wouldn't you agree? That's the one right there. Yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> well, now you're gonna have to send me this recording so I can type it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good. Wow, so good. So, Jamie, um, uh, congratulations on your progress. And, uh, and welcome welcome to the coaching family. Again, we, we need you. We need you. We need more people like you. Um, and so I'm excited for you, your story, your progress, and all the people that lives are going to be impacted and changed because you said yes to your own personal goal. And then you said yes to want to share it and give it away. You didn't just keep it to yourself, but you said, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this thing away. I'm going to share it and, and help others. Um, and so I'm excited for them too. excited for them too. And you're, you're probably going to do very well financially, which is just a little bonus. So uh, I'll take a loan when, when, when that happens. Um, <laughs> cool, but congrats. All right. I think that's all the new coaches. Um, yeah, I think that's all the brand new coaches, which, which is shocking because last month we had, we had quite a few, um, but I know we heard from some of them. So maybe next week we'll hear from our, from our other new coaches. So you guys, if you have coaches on your team, tell them to be here. Tell them to come on next week so we can hear from them. Um, I have a strong few weeks. We're probably going to be hearing from Doreen as a new coach as well, too. So whoever her coach is, keep pushing. Keep pushing. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So let, let, let's hear some takeaways. We got about 13 minutes left till we're done here. Um, you guys, please come off mute. And for those that are in the April Madness, um, whether you did it last month or you didn't do it last month and you're in it this month, if you're doing it both months, what are some of the takeaways? What are you, what are you getting out of it? What are you getting out of it? What are you learning? Um, what are some things that you're hearing that you're going to start implementing and start applying into your business? Because we know it's, it's, it's amazing. It, it's nice to get on these in the morning and get inspired and motivated and pumped up, but it does us no good if we don't get into action, if we don't actually implement the things we're learning. So we'd love to hear what are some of the things you've got down that you guys want to implement um, into, into your business. And that's for, for either one of the madness, whether you're on the April madness, I mean, the ED madness or the FIBIC one. Go ahead, Stan. Stan, the man. <laughs> you know what I heard this morning? I was like, you know what? That's, that could be me. And I need to be careful with having this mindset of well, I don't want to be bothering people. You know, I don't, I don't want to be getting on anybody's nerves or what if they don't need it? All, all of these what ifs and all of these questions that prevent us from, from reaching out to people. I was like, you know what, man? I don't know it if is that's it me. Is. Man, uh -oh, that is it, am I having a bad connection? It might've been me. Is that me? Hear me? Am I clear? Am okay. I... okay, Stan, I can hear you now. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna run that down again, James. <laughs> now, it's, it's just, it was talking about a lot of questions. You, you question yourself or you question the process. You know, do, do I reach out to this person? I don't wanna bug them. Uh, all of these different things that prevent us from reaching out to, to people. Uh, eliminate that out, out, out. If I'm gonna run this business, I definitely need to eliminate that 
because you never know who needs what. So I, it's, it's kind of like judging somebody, you know, we don't know what they need. They may turn around and, and, and this could be an answer to their prayers. So so don't do that. Just just, you know, follow the hub, send out messages, m- make contact with folks, have conversations. And you look for that opportunity to let them know what you're doing because you may see they need it or they may know someone that could benefit from it. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so Stan was clear. I was the one that was breaking up. All right, sorry about that, Stan. We got it twice, though. Uh, All right, cool. Let's keep going. Carol. Okay, on the FIBIC training, there's so much. It is a totally different thing because we're learning how to run a business now. And um, so it's like like a whole different set of information. But the the few things that I can bring out, um, one thing that I really liked was the focus on the... Um, don't get so focused on the hard work that you forget the hard work. What we do changes lives. Um, what we do affects, like, you know, Jamie just spoke, you know, I was doing something because I loved what I'm doing, but I'm helping her to make changes in her life and her health. So don't forget that. Don't don't get so wrapped up in the, the doing that we forget that this is hard work. Um, also, um, when we're in this hard work, we may bring on coaches or we may bring on clients and they may, we may have all of these big goals for them. They told us this, why, you know, these things that they want to do. And we're like, so caught up in it. That's me. I'm all caught up in everything you tell me. I'm like all up in it. Cause I want you to have it, but then they don't follow through. And there, and so we, we were told not to let their, not to be owning on their failures. Don't let those failures derail us. And they can, because, you know, when you put your heart all into it and then they don't follow through, then you're like, oh, I must have done something wrong. No, we didn't do anything wrong. You know, we have a system. It's only for following the system. We didn't do anything wrong. They didn't want it as much as we wanted it for them. And we can't let that derail us. Also, um, we talked about... Um, Hmm. I have so many notes and I, I took notes from that Monday thing too, which you don't want me to talk about that, right? Okay, so Divinia, Divinia, Divinia today, yeah, she talked about um, going ahead and just um, telling everyone about coaching. You know, we have a tendency to talk about the weight loss all the time and that's huge and that's important and that's real important to me because that's been such a thing that's been on my mind for so many years. But we also have another aspect, and that is the coaching aspect, because, you know, there's only so many lives that I can personally touch, you know, there's only so many hours of the day, I'm looking at my whiteboard and the number of clients I have right now, and I'm thinking, whew, but if I have more coaches that are working with me, we can touch more lives. So my job is to sponsor, 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 find more coaches that will help me do this work and help me help others. So um, just tell everybody. Um, and then we talked about just this one thing, Rachel said something about, um, don't think of yourself as ordinary, we're extraordinary, something like that. We are ordinary, we're just regular people doing extraordinary things, but we're doing it because we're putting in energy and passion, and that's what makes us extraordinary and what we do extra special. Wow, yeah. So, so good. Thank you, Carol. Um, yeah, really good. All right, cool. Let's let's keep it going. Go ahead, Ricky. Well, I forget where I heard this or whether it was on the um, ones that we have in the morning or whether it was on the Monday call, but I thought it was very interesting where the ladies told us not to focus so much on coaching the foods, where we want to coach, um, uh, help people to really change their life and then you know like the food and the stuff will come and it, that part will work out so uh that's why this life book is so important and to get into that because um people's minds my mindset and other people's mindsets is so much there that they need to really work on there to help them to, to even get into the part about the food and being uh, intentional and everything about that and about themselves rather than, um, so rather than just coaching the food, coach the elements 
so that they can understand, you know, where they are, how they got there, and then how they can get out of that. And as far as the business part of it is concerned, uh, the part of trying to find uh, clients, um, the thing that I'm going to focus on, I'm going to try my best, which I'm not very good at, but I'm going to work at it, is working with the hub uh, that's in the thing. Hmm. That's it. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. Very cool. Um, anyone else? We got a few few more minutes. From last, even if even if it was last month's April March madness that you heard, and this month you're you're implementing, you're applying it. Maybe um, have you seen have you seen any results, any benefits? Is anything helping? Um, what are you guys What are you guys doing doing differently? What are you doing differently this month? Okay, go ahead, um, Nelly. I see you, Carol. Um, there was last month um, <laughs> when I hear the uh, conversations, start conversations, uh, just post and engage conversations. Uh, that was amazing because I start doing that and and then uh, I say hey how are you and they say how are you I know you've been busy with this uh, program explain to me and I was wow they work I was like amazing and um, I've been following the two uh, March and April and it has helped helped me a lot uh, I like the part today with the coach say then we need help. I need a lot of help. I've been calling you this week uh, because uh, I need I need help, and I wanna reach to the ED, but uh, I really need help. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Nelly. And she she's doing the do. You guys, Nelly is doing the do. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly had an incredible month last month. She ranked up twice. I think she was at just a few clients, and last month I want to say eight nine clients ranked up twice last month. So it it, 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 she's doing it. She's doing the do. Um, um, Shadan, go for it. Um, he, uh, I don't know. I can't find the, to make, but, but oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, hey everybody. What I'm doing differently, um is posting more videos about my journey um i didn't do that previously and this time around just off of the first week i'm on my second week for those of you who don't know i'm on the five and one yay <laughs> but um um the first video that i posted got a lot of uh reviews and people wanting to know more so I noticed that by me being more living out loud, <laughs> you know, as, as what they say in, in our, uh, our, our uh, meetings that we go to, the madness. So, and that's being more authentic, authentic too at the same time. So people, people react or want to know more once you share more about yourself. Yes, we post the pictures, you know, that gets their attention too. But when you post more about yourself, they're going to be more inclined to ask, even though they may not look for or say anything for a whole year, but you're going to get more people and that's going to help start more conversations for your business as well to help it grow as we help others too at the same time. So I'm being more personal than I've been before with my journey. Very nice. Love that. Good job. All right, cool. Carol, I saw you were eager to share more of your notes. I, we want to hear did. it. I did. <laughs> that point, actually, you said when you expanded it and said I can go into the other meeting, I just want to bring out that point that that young girl brought out on Monday night, that this is a longevity kind of a business. So don't get like wrapped up into, oh my goodness, it didn't happen today. Oh my goodness, I didn't make it. It's going to take consistency and people will see 
that you are serious and this is a serious business so they might not come to you the first year or the second year whatever she's been doing it six years and now she's getting it so don't get freaked out if it doesn't hit everything doesn't work out perfectly right away you know of course we want it to but you know if it doesn't that's okay and then one other thing was josh brought out about the six bullets and again we're reminded to be interested in individuals and the way you do that is when you do your health um when you do your conversations with your clients don't make it all about weight loss talk to them just talk to them find out about their day find out you know what's going on in their lives and then from that you can find out what they really really need as you say really really need and then that way you can help them get that dream but you won't know it if all you talk about is how much do you weigh today mm. Mm. yes that part, Carol, very nice. Sylvia, did you have something else you wanted to say? Or was your, your hand was up? I don't know if you were you were done. I, I did real quick. Okay, go for and, it. Um, but we had uh, yesterday when Justin, he said be more, you know, he was, he was ignorance on fire instead of knowledge on ice. And that's good for us because sometimes, I mean, I'm so technologically backwards. I just plan that every time I get ready to do something with the device that it's not going to go right. Because before it used to frustrate me and, and still it does, it still does. But now it's frustrate me who has the answer. It's um, find somebody who knows, like I'm reaching out to Barbara, reaching out to Tamara, reaching out to you, reaching out to Stan. It's like, it, and, and so yesterday after the morning, um, I went to the market. And I went to this store because I live in South Central Los Angeles. So I went to the market and I told Barb, I said, I can't find anything that is healthy outside of the produce section and the, the protein. There's no like low fat or sugar free. I'm like, really? Because I had been shopping at other markets and, and I got lit up with the mission. I went to the, the manager and I said, you know, we have an influx of diabetes and high blood pressure right in our neighborhood. And we think that this is the way it's supposed to be. What if you could change it? How would you feel if you could take the lead in changing that? Yeah, well, she looked at me like I was Greek, but at any rate, maybe another day. But at the same time, I talked to three people in the store who gave me their phone number and we have um, conversations you know, throughout the week already planned. And they too noticed the same thing. So, um, I, you know, how long have I been? I, I'm a brand new coach still, I feel. And it was as if yesterday I felt like, like I had just heard her Dr. A's mission. It's like, I got, I got this. I understand now. It's like, we, there's some changes that need to be made in order for people to get healthy. So I was appreciative of the, um, the training because I really think that's what helped. Yeah, so good. Thank you, Sylvia, for sharing that. So I'll kind of wrap up and, and, and talk to you guys about one of the biggest takeaways I'm getting from this March uh, Amphibic Madness series. Um, as Carol mentioned, I, I love it because we're really, really focused and talking about um, how, do we, how do we build a sustainable business? Um, and and it's a, it, it is a higher level training. I see why you had to qualify for this and another reason why, like we had a few people that I, I, I tried to, um, I went to Jamil, I said, hey, we have a couple of coaches that are really, really close. Can they get into this? And, and it was no, um, you had to qualify and get this. And I, and I get it. And I understand why, because if you haven't developed the, the skill set and the mindset and the competencies for, for this type of training, um, a lot of it might, might, well, I think it's good in every, all of us. I wish all of us can hear it, but um. I do see why it's it's something you want to be at a certain place, a certain level before you start getting this type of higher level training. But one of the things, and this is not higher level training when I'm going to talk to, this is something that we can start doing really right now. Um, and then one of the things that I um, kind of, I'll say as, a, as one of the leaders, one of the leaders of this team in this organization, I think about um, how do we develop a sponsoring culture? Within, within this group, with all of us here, how do we de develop a sponsoring culture so that we're not only have, Sylvia said it today, we only have our, 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 um, 
weight loss by folk or sunglasses on and we're only looking at people for weight loss. And so how does that happen? One of the things I really got out of this is that it starts with me. It starts with me as, as, as one of the leaders is that I will never, never, never tell anybody to do something that I'm not doing. Never. That's not, that's not good leadership. Um, and that's all we talk about is growing ourselves and growing as a leader. So in order for us to develop this sponsoring culture within our team, within our group, um, I have to just develop a sponsoring mindset myself. And I think I, I, I've done that pretty well. I have the sponsoring mindset. But then it shows when we look at, well, how many brand new coaches are coming into our group every single month? How many brand new coaches are we seeing coming in? Last month was amazing. As a group, we had more just last month than we've done, we've done in a long time. Um, and now the, the goal is for that to continue growing, um, for that to continue growing. But um, how, how do we do that? How do I build a sponsoring mindset so that we can, um, by example, build a sponsoring culture within the group? is it starts a lot with the mindset. You know, we have to see why we sponsor and why we bring on coaches. Um, and then a lot of it has to go into training, what we talk about, um, the conversations we have. Are we talking about weight loss and weight loss and clients? Or are we talking about, Rachel Richard came on today and she apologized to the group and told everybody the shift that she's having, shift she's having is, is, is um, focusing mm. on, the, on the mission. And, 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 and growing and growing the mission. Um, so from training is one of the ways. And then also what we think about and what we talk about in our training. So I'm going to get with the other leaders within our group. I talked to Carol today and I'll say, Carol, how do we do it? What are, what are some ideas? What do you think? And so that's kind of the, what we're going to be really moving on forward, especially with this call, our coaching team huddle is how do we move the mission forward? How do we build this? How do we grow this right here? There was about almost 50 of us on that first call. And then you see it trickles down to about 20. So I would love by, by the next six months, there's 60, 70 people just for this call right here for our coaching call. But again, that's going to start with me and all of our leaders in here, and then we set the example, and then we'll, we'll develop that sponsoring culture. So that's something that I've got, and I think it was important for me to share with you guys, because I think as a group, it's something we'll really focus on and, and, and discuss. Um, Dan Valentine said this last month on the April Madness. He said, I look, was it JC? Dan Valentine, JC, one of them, JC Dornick. He said, I look for, I'm not looking for people that need to get healthy and lose weight, mindset shift. I'm now looking for people that would be a great coach. Oh, and by the way, they have some weight loss to lose. They need to lose some weight. So you see how there's that mindset shift to where we're not just looking at people with our weight loss glasses, but who are some people that can help us move the mission forward? Who are some people that need help in all areas of their life, physically, mentally, and financially? Um, oh, and by the way, we can help them lose, get healthy, lose some weight. So um, that'll be kind of the focus the next from here on out. Um, so just want to kind of share that. And then I'll begin with the leaders within our group. And then we'll discuss different trainings and things we can do to help all of us develop that sponsoring mindset. Cool. Well, you guys, thank you guys. I know we're seven minutes over. Thank you guys for staying on. Thank you guys for being here. Sylvia, thank you for, um, for leading us tonight. Everyone, thank you for their comments. I do want to apologize to, you, to the whole group, um, and I'll do this on recording. I am very, very bad with these recordings, and I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, Barbara, please don't yell at me. I'm sorry. So what I did was I set an alert because I'm so bad with it. I set an alert in my phone that to tell me once this thing is done, and it takes about an hour to upload. And by the, then I, I get up and I walk away and I forget to upload it. But I set a reminder in my phone so that I will um, upload this and get the recordings to everybody so you guys can send those to your clients, to your coaches that missed it. So I apologize for the ones that I didn't post yet. Tonight, I'm going to post the last three in our group so you guys have access to all of them. And then from here on out, I'm going to do better with getting you guys the recordings for this call. Okay. Um, you guys have a good night and we'll see you guys all next week. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, James. Hey, James.
James, you know that 